The competitive Africa rice platform is attributing a surge in domestic rice production to the influx of Nigerian aggregators purchasing more paddy rice from local farmers in the country. This contradicts assertions by the Ministry of Food and Agriculture, which stated that phase one of the Planting for Food and Jobs program had witnessed an abundant increase in domestic rice production by 80%. Daniel Odromensa provides further details in the following report, read by Nashi Kasiza. Modernizing agriculture, improving production, achieving food security and farmers' profitability are the core pillars underpinning the Planting for Food and Jobs Program Phase 1. Since the end of the program, the government has touted the success of the Planting for Jobs Phase 1, particularly highlighting a significant 80% increase in domestic rice production. But what has been the reaction of farmers regarding this achievement? Yao Edukofi is a chairman of the competitive Africa Rice platform. Although he somewhat agrees with the assertion, he references the influx of Nigerian aggregators purchasing paddy rice as a key factor driving the increase in domestic rice production. What has made production of rice move, I will not attribute it to the PSG one. For the last two, three years, there has been an influx of foreign aggregators especially from Nigeria, coming to buy our paddy, not our milled rice, paddy rice, because of the policy of banning commodities in Nigeria by the previous Buhari government. So rice that were not sold was all bought by the Nigerian aggregators. And they came the following year, so that informed farmers to go into expansion of their rice farms. And last year, they could not sell rice because uh, the import ban had been lifted in Nigeria. About half of what was produced last year is still in the hands of farmers. They cannot sell it. This is the situation we have. 